Good morning beautiful people. It's a beautiful day in Manila. There's a bit of wind, not too much humidity and uh, probably high 20s at the moment uh, and very comfortable and very nice. And as promised at the end of my previous video at the uh, wet market in Guadalupe, uh, we'll go to the supermarket and uh, have a look at some of the prices to give you a good idea of the, the basic cost of living here in Manila. But first, let's talk about my costs. And I thought I'd give you a rundown of my major costs and my sort of monthly budget so that you can see what is actually possible. And I'll do it in US dollars uh, and pesos. <laughs> my rent is 19 and a half thousand pesos a month. And that's for a 24 square meter studio apartment with a divider so there's a kind of kind of like a bedroom. Uh, included in that is internet and Netflix. My monthly electricity bill is around about 1400 pesos and my monthly water bill is around it's very cheap. It's it's about 130 140 uh, pesos a month. Uh, I'm just redoing my health insurance at the moment and uh, I'm looking at getting pretty good health insurance sort of upgrading a bit this time to private because you know there's a pandemic um, and that will be around about 42,000 pesos for the year but included in that is a component of travel insurance so if I was to be able to go overseas, uh, I'd be covered for up to 30 days uh, at the same level that I'm covered in in the Philippines. And as you've seen, I eat at restaurants, you know, from time to time, sort of from two star to four star. Very occasionally four star. Um, and I travel a little bit and uh, believe it or not I actually do buy new clothes at the moment of course I'm wearing a black t-shirt but I'm also wearing blue shorts just to mix things up a bit but you know I do pretty much whatever I want to do I eat fairly well when I go shopping I buy the food that I want to cook uh, and I'm trying to live on about 400 US dollars a week and that includes the occasional bigger ticket item uh, of say uh, a GoPro Hero 9. I don't know if I'll make it uh, you know maybe it'll end up being more like rather than 400 a week or 1600 dollars a month it might end up more like 2000 a month um, but I'm just trying to keep costs under control because once I start traveling, then my costs will really go through the roof. I said a little while ago that we were gonna do a real estate video and I had the real estate agent teed up, but because of the ECQ, surprisingly, even if you live in the building, you can't do uh, a unit inspection. And so it's just not possible at the moment until we get out of ECQ, which is a pity. All right, as we're early, Robinson's uh, Forum isn't open yet. But the supermarket's open and you have to enter through the basement car park and so uh let's go <laughs> And finally, as eager consumers we arrive, an air-conditioned aeroplane hangar groaning with every conceivable processed food on the market. Here, the chefs take a back seat to the food technicians. There are some foods that will never expire, others that come out as they went in. A constant barrage of brainwashing slogans and crazily discounted specials blasts from the public address system. Fluorescent lighting stabs at the shopper's eyeballs as fingers fumble in pockets to grab the legal tender and jam it into the till. Shopping trolleys trundle down aisles slightly too narrow for comfort. Some people are actually here looking for love.
pork, 230 a kilogram, ground beef, 265. These pork chops are 324. Beef sirloin, 730. So T-bone steak, 685 pesos kilo. Everyday skinny little chickens for 153 pesos. Free range chickens for 270 pesos. And leg quarter cut 190 pesos chicken breast 212 pesos full loaf of high fiber bread is 80 pesos and a half loaf is 60 pesos white bread half loaf 49 pesos big loaf 67 pesos fresh milk is 86 pesos shopping just a little bit I didn't need much and I hope that gives you a good idea of the cost of living here uh, so I'll edit this up when I get home and uh, I couldn't talk what to the camera while I was in the supermarket and uh, what is it with people oh, I couldn't talk to the camera when I was in the supermarket because they don't allow videoing uh, which is uh, a bit unfortunate so I had to be a bit surreptitious and a bit careful but I think I've got all the footage I need and I walked around first with a pad and got a whole lot of prices and so I'll edit this up when I get home and uh, put it up uh, I have actually got some interesting vlogs coming up believe it or not uh, but I won't spoil the surprise just yet so until I see you again beautiful people take care